In this video, we will be discussing more effective link building methods. We're going to start by talking about online publicity. This is where you can submit a press release about your website or business. You could do a Google search for submit press release free to find a variety of websites that you could come up uh, for and that you could be found in. Consider paid press release submission sites like PR Web. They can actually maximize your exposure in a big way. Another one that's about a fraction of the cost of PR Web is called PR Underground, and it's actually got a really good track record. It's about $40 per press release, and it actually does sometimes get your site listed in the Google News and other high authority places that do get mass shares with them. So if you can't afford PR Web, you may want to look at PR Underground. It doesn't mean you want to do a pile of press releases, but it does make sense on occasion to do a really good press release to highlight maybe a key content that you have, maybe a speaking engagement. It's a good way to leverage if you're doing the local, doing a big project in your community, like maybe hosting a free event or something like that. That would be a great reason to do a press release to generate some online PR for yourself. The press release should cover a couple things. Who the press release is about, what is the purpose of the press release, when is the event or did the event take place? Why is this important? Why should people be reading this press release? Why is this big news for your industry? Why was this a big event for the community? And then how can people find your site or get involved in what you have to offer or to check out your resource if that's what you're doing the press release on? Those are the types of things. So the basic principles of journalism, who, what, when, why, how, and where is another key one too. Where is it taking place? Where can they find your website? Uh, the how part also works. How can they find your site? Don't forget the link in your press release. So you could write a very well crafted, really good press release, and you could look at prweb.com. You could look at PR Underground, see examples of press releases that people have submitted online. Or if you do the Google search for submit press release free and you find all those free press release submission sites, look at other examples of the press releases that are out there and you could kind of model using uh, what they've done but don't forget the link to your website within the press release it works great for gaining exposure especially that local exposure if you're a local business and you do a press release with your keywords in the title of it and it's also a great method to generate additional mentions and exposure for your business uh, in a big way and the reason I mentioned the mentions part and the social mentions is because that plays right into the SEO strategy Google actually looks for especially local SEO they're gonna look for citations or places that your business comes up and so if you can do a press release by submitting it uh, using uh, the submit press release free finding websites you could submit to using PR underground it's going to increase the mentions of your site this works for any kind of website that you have out there it's just going to really enhance your exposure competition research this is where you could find link building opportunities directly from your competition you want to look for your main keywords and make a list of your top competitors for your chosen keywords on the first two pages of the search engines. So that could be the Bing search engine or most importantly the Google search engine because they get the majority of the traffic. So what you want to do again is look for your main keywords that you're trying to rank for. That could be golf training aids, that could be golf supplies, it could be dog grooming uh, supplies, whatever the case is that you're selling, whatever products or services you are offering, make money online whatever it is that you want to rank for the target keyword that you're trying to get you want to make a list of the top 20 websites within that niche especially the top 10 uh, post put the URLs into a tool to analyze the inbound links a uh, tool that you could use for this there's one out there called open site Explorer uh, you could just do a Google search to come across that um, it's put out by Moz which used to be known again as SEO Moz moz.com forward slash research tools forward slash OSE now if this link has changed you could just do a Google search for open site Explorer or tools similar to open site Explorer to come across it majestic site Explorer uh, that's found at majestic SEO dot com forward slash reports forward slash slash sites site dash explorer you can also use this tool to find out trust rank for sites you link to or want to get a link from and this would be a high value resource that you may want to eventually invest more into I know some of these offer like a free version and then the paid version really opens it up you really may want to consider if you're really serious about your link building and finding out where your competition is getting backlinks from to leverage these tools so it's simply going out to the search engines and finding you know on your favorite search engine what your competition 
is who are the websites who's your competition analyzing what they're doing with their on-page SEO for one uh, that's just kind of a side note so you could actually see ways that you could pick apart what they're doing analyze what they're doing right so that you could also duplicate that on your on-page SEO and then also analyze where they're getting backlinks from because obviously where they're getting backlinks from is helping them so you could only try to get links from those sources because they're getting links from places that you may want to also get links from and on top of that uh, there also may open up additional link building opportunities or types of websites that you hadn't thought to use to get links from so doing competition research is huge plugging them into these tools they will actually analyze and tell you what backlinks these sites are getting, which backlinks they have obtained. And then you could go through these for each website. So you might have hundreds of link building opportunities right under your fingertips by just using this method of potential quality links that you could obtain. And on top of that, especially Majestic SEO, they'll tell you like the trust rank. So you know, is this site an authority site? Is this site worth uh, linking out to or getting a link from? Uh, those types of things as well. So here's a kind of a picture of what Majestic SEO looks like. You just type in your competition. So here's an example if you were in the golf niche and your competition, one of them on the first page was perfectgolfswingreview.net. And so you want to look at the trust flow there and then they'll tell you there's 2,343 external backlinks going in and then if you had the upgraded version then you could actually get insight into what those links are they'll actually share some of them with you um, so you can notice here that some of the links they're getting are like blog comment links for example on bleacher report that was one link that they had there and then if you scroll down there's a link on like a blogspot blog uh, one on swingguru.com, which is another golf article. Uh, WikiHow, that's actually a big link. So that's a link that maybe you could uh, consider getting a backlink from, seeing how you could actually get yourself on WikiHow because it's a high authority website. Australian, let's see, australianseniorgolfer.com.au. Uh, maybe you could provide a resource to them. Maybe you could provide another uh, kind of resource to that website because that's obviously a golfing website that is an authority site. Homeward.com, this one is uh, looks like it's kind of a golf related website so you could actually potentially get a backlink on this site as well. Um, so this is a great tool that you can use. Now again this is just the free version of Majestic SEO. Uh, they'll just show you like I think the top 10. Um, so you don't have the full tool at your disposal but once you invest in it you could actually get access to hundreds or possibly thousands of potential link opportunities and you could go out to these sites and, and figure out hey this could be a site that I could also create a high value resource on and then you're doing the same stuff your competition's doing and that's eventually going to help you because you're obtaining those quality backlinks the right way. Here's what the open site explorer tool from Moz uh, looks like if you go in and let's say your competition is called golf link and they're going to show you their domain authority their page authority and it's also going to display um, some possible places that you could get a backlink from uh, so here's one that's actually like a local link philly burbs and they have a link to uh, their site through their golf directory so maybe you could get a link from a local directory that'll give you some ideas of places you could go to get links as well Notice back there as well, one thing on that last one, uh, they also had a link from Hartford City, Indiana uh, as well. So on a Wikipedia link, and it is a no-follow link, uh, but they are actually showing on Wikipedia, which is huge for authority because it's a high-traffic website. Even though it's a no-follow link, uh, Google is still very well aware of it. If o OpenSide Explorer knows that they're on Wikipedia, I guarantee you that Google also knows that as well. Now this one again will encourage you to sign up and become a pro member so you can get more information and golflink.com is one of the larger golf sites out there uh, but it would give you a good indication of some possible sites that you could go um, some possible authority golf like golf websites like golflink uh, that you could actually get a link to if you were in the golfing niche market so competition research is huge Link building method number seven, this is where you're helping others. Providing useful content and adding value on industry forums, message boards, and in the blog comments. You're going to get rec recognized as an authority on these websites. 
it will potentially create linking opportunities with website and with those on these sites and so if you're there constantly helping people out on your industry forums and you're providing them resources you're providing them help you're giving them real honest advice again this is one of those methods that takes time but they may recognize you the person that owns the forum he may say hey look check out this person's website he knows what he's talking about it will establish you as the authority within the place where people are hanging out and that's a great opportunity to have a bio page if it's like a forum or have a signature page those types of things research where your industry is hanging out and see if you can provide value in those areas another link building method is websites which actually mention you your business or you may be mentioned on websites already you don't know now if you're brand new this link building method won't be applicable but if you've been around for a while and there's a chance somebody may have done a review on you that you didn't know about or they have uh, talked about your products or your services and you weren't aware of it conduct a search for sites which mention your website your brand or your personal name Contact these website owners to see if they'd be willing to include a link to your site. You'll be amazed at how many potential link building opportunities may be out there already if you just do this one step, this one simple step. You could even offer them a favorite resource from your site that they could also include for their audience that they could link to. And that's where it comes into the value of having a, having a high quality resource handy so that you can obtain these backlinks. It's also a very simple method to pick up backlinks. It's kind of like that low hanging fruit that's sitting there for you. Blog commenting is another link building method. It's still a viable way to get links from authoritative sites related to your niche market. It's not like it used to be where you go out there and just spam as many blogs as you can, uh, but it's a great spot to build relationships just like when we talked about the helping strategy mentioned earlier. You post quality and helpful advice to those commenting and if they are asking for advice you could give them the advice right back or you could actually provide value uh, build a relationship and a rapport with the blog owner because they're going to be likely to approve further uh, comments that you make especially if you're somebody that's there that's a positive influence on the blog community uh, within the commenting area they may contact you later for more help or ways that you could assist them it will build you up again as the authority if you're doing blog commenting correctly and it's a great spot again to locate where people in your niche market are hanging out find blogs in your niche by doing searches you could do a search for like golf and and blog do a search for dog training and your blog whatever niche market you're in again do that search golf blog golf blogs so try the plural form and the non plural form link building method number 10 local backlinks contact local websites about getting listed in their resource section even if you are trying to reach an international audience this does not apply if you only have a brick and mortar business this works great for brick and mortar businesses by all means do this as well but if you have a website that's reaching an international audience and or an e-commerce site that maybe reaches all the states in the United States and you're not geographically located to just people in a certain city it would be make sense for you on the city that you're located in to contact local websites about getting listed in their resource section city name plus recommended resources would be a good idea so do a search for the city name plus recommended resources if your city name is Louisville do Louisville or Louisville Kentucky recommended resources in quotes and what the quotes do is that's an exact match search and so that's gonna pull up websites with that city name especially when you add the, the plus sign so people that have actually done searches for websites that are Louisville based based in Louisville and the recommended resources are on their website then those sites will show up and so you could see if you could be listed as a recommended resource suggested resources useful resources recommended sites suggested sites create content for local websites as well Find uh, you know websites for people locally. You could do a list of local Wi-Fi spots in a certain area, and then you could maybe get a link back on your website. Even if it's not 100% related to your content, if it's high-value content, somebody may want to link to it locally. And especially if you're in a smaller community, it's going to be a lot easier to get some links from local people. Do a list of local golf courses. Do a list of local restaurants. Now it depends on your niche. If I am in, for example, if you're in the computer internet niche, a list of Wi-Fi hotspots might be a good source. Or if I'm in the golfing niche, a list of local golf courses and rating them from top 
one to top ten or whatever. Uh, the top ten list or top five local golf courses. Top five local restaurants. Calendar of sporting events. Must do activities in your area. Local government sites, schools, libraries, and colleges are great resources uh, that you could also link to or talk about or try and get a link from. Local sponsorship links. So this would be where you look for sponsorship opportunities locally that could then lead to backlinks. So places where you could sponsor a company or sponsor a certain event and get backlinks from those. City name plus, the in quotes, thank you to our sponsors. What that does is that's going to actually bring up sponsors, people that actually have a sponsorship page. And what that will do, the thank you to our sponsors part, will only bring up websites with that search phrase on it along with that city name. And finally here, I want to share with you a kind of an insider secret here, but additional link building advice can be found through a gentleman named Eric Ward. Uh, he is by far one of the best and foremost experts on link building. And just because I mentioned this, I'm not getting paid anything. I'm not affiliated with him. But I will say, as a matter of fact, Eric Ward is by far one of the top link building experts and he has a service it's called link moses i believe um, but you could just look up eric ward link building and probably come across his website he has been at this for many many years and he is uh, you know knows how to get backlinks knows how to get links the right way the correct way he's been at this since you know when google started and he's still has stood the test of time is backlinking throughout all the updates and so he's going to give you some of the best uh, additional link building advice and he's also going to give you some additional sources if you sign up for his monthly service uh, but this one his name's Eric Ward this would be a good book to get it's going to give you even more link building ideas than the ones I even mentioned here so these top 10 methods they, they should definitely keep you busy if you need more you could go to him as another resource now in the next video we're going to talk about the importance of social media marketing